This Western Star 4964 SX1 is certainly a serious heavy haulage truck and it comes inside a branded box which unfortunately doesn't have any information about the real truck. Inside the box there are a couple of polystyrene trays which are factory sealed but the trays don't say which is top and bottom so you have to play I feel lucky and on this occasion I'm not lucky. Anyway, turning it the right way up and the only pieces in the box are the truck itself which is wrapped in a little bit of polythene and there's a bag full of some parts. But there are no instructions for the model. Let's have a look at what's inside the bag and you've got a ballast box. There are some replica timber planks. There are three different types of drawbar. There's a spare wheel and there's a bag containing some chains and other small parts. The detail on the chassis is really good with the gearbox and engine looking smart. And the transmission drive shaft goes through to the rear axles which are also really well detailed. The tyres have a different tread pattern on the front and rear axles and the wheels are really smart too. And they are made of metal. The front of the truck is very impressive with the parts again made out of metal. And there are excellent badges on the side of the hood and on top of the radiator. A particularly high quality detail is the quality of the chrome work and the exhaust is excellent with the Western Star name on it. The roof of the cab has got really good lights and other details on top and behind the cab there are more excellent lights and there's also some really fine quality mesh work. The very good standard of detailing continues inside the cab and on the outside the chrome steps and fuel tank look great. At the back the wheel arches are metal and they have a non-slip surfacing. There are more lights around the towing hitch and the mud flaps have the Western Star logo. Another nice detail is that the aerials are thin wire and actually very sharp and around all the wheels the mud flaps are rubber and very flexible. The ballast box is metal and it's got lugs to fit the restraining chains on and the parts that come with the model are also good, the chains, the tow bar and the rubber tyre. Putting the truck on the test track it's well balanced and moves very well in a straight line. All of the axles have working suspension which are controlled by springs. At the rear that means the two axles float together and the suspension has been implemented really well. Another winning feature is the steering which has got a very good range of movement and if you set it to a hard lock then the truck can take a corner realistically and it also poses really well on the display shelf. One optional detail you can fit is a pair of lights down onto the towing hitch but you have to be a little bit careful with them because they're a fairly loose fit and so are easily lost. Also they clash if a trailer is fitted to the fifth wheel. While we're talking about it, the fifth wheel does have a very useful range of longitudinal movement. And there's also a little spring-loaded clip which is used to grip the pin of any trailer that's fitted to the fifth wheel. Although this is not really an authentic combination, we'll fit a Notabome trailer onto the Western Star. And although it's a little bit fiddly to operate the clip on the fifth wheel, it does work. And when you clip the trailer on, it all poses together properly. Included with the model are a variety of tow bars and draw bars, and they just go into the hitch at the rear and they can be secured with a little pin that just drops into the top of the towing point. There's another hitch at the front of the truck so you can put a tow bar in that and use a different type of pin to secure it and that all works really pretty well. The optional ballast box just drops onto the fifth wheel and you can chain it in place with some cross chains and when it's all secured you can add to the detailed look of the model by including some of the accessories that are provided so here we're just laying a draw bar behind the cab and just adding a load of the parts into the ballast box. And when it's all loaded up it's a good looking addition to the model. Moving now to some of the other features of the truck. There's an opening hood which tilts fully forward and the engine inside is really detailed and good to look at. And when you finish the hood mechanism is nicely engineered and clips shut. One feature that's been implemented particularly well is the opening doors on the cab. There's no unsightly hinges which spoil the look of the model. And the fit of the doors is actually so good that it's really quite difficult to get them open because you have to try and get a little pointer or something into the small gaps that remain. Another working feature is the hinged warning board above the cab and that tilts up and down and is operated by a really small pair of cylinders. This Western Star truck is a really high quality model by WSI. It's nearly all metal, the standard of detailing is excellent and the features work really well too. If you like heavy haulage tractor models, it's certainly an outstanding example.